Hi, my name is Dr. Megan Corredo, creator of the Stories Intervention. On Sunday, December 11, 2016, Stories facilitated an interactive community event in Philadelphia surrounding the Stories concepts of Create, Voice, Honor. There is something redemptive about the act of creating. To take something intended for one purpose and use it for another. To infuse the ordinary with imagination and life. To transform the mundane into something exceptional. To find wholeness in the broken, purpose in the pain. There's a place in um, the artist world for everybody. You know, everybody has an audience somewhere. There's some place for you as an artist to be able to use your talent and use your abilities. Don't ever look at everybody else and start thinking, I'm not good enough. Don't look at everyone else and just say, well, you know, um, there's no place for me. And so you just kind of back up and you say, well, I'm going to just sing in my own way you know, today. I'm going to be my own artist, you know, and I'm just going to do that. No, push yourself. Go for it. Don't let anybody deter you from whatever it is you want to do. Don't ever say to yourself, I can't do it. You make yourself better by if you want to go to classes, if you're a dancer, take classes. If you're a singer, go get a vocal coach. If you're a photographer, continue taking pictures. Find out how to get the abstract, how to get, make the sun shine brighter in your pictures to make it look amazing. But with all that being said, do it and do it until you know you find your niche, until you find your peace. Leon Rainbow here at the Stories event. Uh, we were making cards. These were a couple that I did. Uh, Bayron did a couple over here. All the people that did their cards, they took them. Everybody really had fun doing the cards. There was a couple artists that came from out of town. and It was real cool to see what they came up with. Hi, um, I'm Roderick, and I'm the assistant editor for Safe Kids Stories. Uh, we're a blog site uh, that highlights how youth and children are finding places, people, things that make them feel safe, um, and sort of reformatting people's stories uh, to focus away from trauma and focus on uh, the details of violence and conflict and, and rather focusing more on what helps them get through those times. So we go into schools, we find community partners to work with students, to work with youth, um, and to work with adults reflecting back on their time as children um, and highlighting what, what makes them feel safe. that were created at the Broad Street Ministry that depict different parts of a tree from the roots to the seeds to the leaves and the flowers and each one contains inside of it a prompter for writing so you can color in the front and then on the inside you can answer the question that relates to the image that's on the front so because this one is seeds it's about a time of personal growth
So my name is Justin Filiaggi and I work for the nonprofit Arts Morning Hands and Hearts and we're here today with the Tree of Life activity and what this activity does is we um, uh, basically it starts out just creating your own tree. You got to make sure you have the roots in your tree, you have a trunk, you have branches and you have leaves. And each of these different parts of the tree signifies a different part of your life. Um, for example, the roots is your, your upbringing and your background, maybe where you're from. Uh, the trunk of the tree is more of your values, more of your, um, your skills um, in life, and you put them, the sturdiest part of the tree right there. And then the branches are your aspirations, your dreams, um, what you hope to accomplish in life. Then you can add Some voices are loud, others are quiet. Some voices are bold, others are timid. Every person has a voice. Voicing our experiences in the presence of trusted others helps us to heal, to grow, to come to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. For many years, I've been through so much stuff that has made me the person I am today. These places all have a symbol that means something to me. People have always told me to stay strong, but sometimes that is very hard to do. All my life, I've lost so much. So my future is basically the puzzle that I've been looking for since I was a little girl. Everything that I've experienced is my story, and the future will just be another chapter. I want to say thank you to the past for all the lessons. And to the future, I'm ready for everything you've got to throw at me. Trauma survivors have experienced pain, terror, fear, shame. Yet in the face of these adverse experiences, they muster up the courage to keep going, to summon their sources of inner strength, to draw from their resilience. This is worthy of honoring. Here's your story. It's joy is always at beginning, middle, end. So it's how it was, what happened, how it is now. He's a big, big boy, super big boy, like my nephew, extra big. Things happen bad with his father, things happen. Uh, he and his mother, brother, they have to move someplace, they gotta move a lot. Pressure gets the mother, and then her health goes down. She loses it with them, and she's beating them all the time. He's a big boy, he's 12 years old. He says, You know what? You didn't get him a key. So they took him away. They took him away, they put him in a juvenile detention center. And then, because he was angry, as one is, after you get abused, he was angry, he acted. And they took him from the juvenile tent and they threw him into solitary because they were scared because the boy was made, right? So he's in solitary. He's only like 14, 15 years old. Somebody, somebody gave this boy a radio. So he wouldn't be in there all by himself. He plays radio. He's playing radio all the time. I don't know why the boy tuned into opera, but he did. And he started singing with the opera. He sing, he sing, he sing some more, he sing. Kept him sane, kept him connected. Came out, went to a school, had a music teacher. So they worked with him, they worked with him, they worked with him. He's now singing at the Metropolitan. Mm -hmm. That's a story, right? How it was, what happened, how it is now. Now this is a story with, a, with an amazing ending. It's a story is a success in his own turn. He goes back, he's going back to the juvenile detention center saying to them, there is life after this. Here's what an adulthood could look like that's full of something that's special for you. We know the things that happen that change our lives. And we can tell those stories to each other in ways that make us stronger, in ways that make us share with each other the respect we have for ourselves. Everyone has a story, stories of strength, stories of pain, stories of survival. What's your story?